Hello again. We're going to be starting lesson one today. So I'm going to go ahead and get my code.org screen up for you. Um, so last time we, in case again, if you get lost, I clicked on my dashboard. That brings it here, my course, CSD Unit 3, Animation and Games. You can go ahead and continue lesson. You can always, up at the top where it says more, you can click on any of the lessons if you have skipped one. Now you'll see when you do one, the it's going to change to green. So that's how you will be able to tell that you are doing it. These ones with the purple check mark, those are assessments. I'm definitely going to be looking at those to make sure you're understanding the content. So that's just one way to look at some of the different lessons if you need to go back to any of them that you may have missed or you need to go back and fix. So I also have our um, Google Doc open as well that you should be filling out as you go along. So be sure to have this open while you're working on code so you can answer the questions and not have to go back and have to maybe redo something to try and save you a little bit of time. All right, so lesson one, programming for entertainment. Number part one, read the overview. Um, so this just gives, the overviews just give a basic understanding of what we're going to be doing in this lesson. When you've got it read, go ahead and continue. Um, and one thing I wanna say when you're watching these videos, feel free to pause it and do what you need to be doing with it. So um, if you don't, or if you need more time to do something, take the time, pause it, rewind, fast forward, do what you need to do. You only need to watch what you need to watch, okay? So starting your search, um, maybe just try and find a little bit of information. So if I go back to part two, um, we're not gonna do a full research like this lesson wants us to do, but do take a little time, just try and find some places in entertainment that has programming and coding in it. And then you do have a question in here that you will need to answer. What is something that surprised you that uses programming? Um, again, we're focusing on the entertainment. And then um, if you haven't already, make a copy of this document so you can have it saved and then type in an answer to your question. And then once you have that done, we can go ahead and continue. Okay. Um, this lesson, other than that, is going to be pretty simple. Part three, click run and use the stamps to draw a picture. And then you are going to take a screenshot to put that into the document. So if I click run, you see we have some different things here. So I can click on the pig and it's going to stamp and put the pig on or the giraffe some blue, you can even kind of smear them together. If you don't like it, just reset it. Run again, gonna do a little bop, doggy. Sorry, I have a two-year-old, they're always doggies or puppies. Maybe some water, maybe Sandy Beach he's on. So just draw something kind of picture here and maybe he's joined by an elephant and a tiger because they're often together, aren't they? Okay, when you're happy with your picture, take a screenshot of it. Again, that's control shift and then the window screen up at the top of your Chromebook. If you're using a different device, um, you may have to search that up. I'm not sure what all devices people are going to be using. Okay, and then we're done, finish. You get the little cheer and continue. Okay, so again, make sure you insert your screenshot. Okay, part four, run the program to see what happens. Our goal is to create a scene similar to this for your final project. Okay, so if we click run, so you can see we have a couple little characters moving, one's moving, one's changing sizes. We have text on there, we have different colors, we have a background. That's all different things we're gonna be working on in here. Okay, um, and again, always read your instructions that are gonna be here. Um, that's any lesson we are in. So combined images, text, and some subtle animation can make for really interesting comic or graphic stories. Again, that's kind of what we're gonna be aiming towards. Click run to see an example. All right, so when you're done with that, finish, continue. Make sure you're hitting finish and not just going ahead up above. Again, that'll mark that you have seen the lesson for me. Okay, part five, play the sample game to see how it works. Um, I did have some students that have been able to do a little bit more in depth with more games. They went further on with the lessons than what we are um, going to be required to. Um, but go ahead, again, read your instructions here and it will tell you what to do. So move to the left and right with the arrow keys. You score by clicking stars and 
I use a space bar to jump. You see, you can't jump through. These objects or platforms, whatever you want to call them, are put where you cannot go through them. Again, that's a little bit more of an advance. And if you do get a high enough score, the background does change color. I think it's 20. No, nope, must be higher. All right. So if you want to find out how what score changes the color, that's fine. Maybe 25. I'll see if I can get three more here. There it was, 25. Okay. Again, when you're done, go ahead and click finish. Continue. And part six, the last one, the bunny is hungry and you need some mushrooms and carrots. You need to find a dinner bowl first and then you have to avoid the bugs because they will eat your food and you win when you collect, I think it was five mushrooms. Yep, and collect at least 10 carrots and five mushrooms to win this one. Again, I'm gonna double check. Here is another sample of the game that can be programmed. Okay, and then run it. Again, space bar to jump. You can't smush the bugs. I even get, has the instructions here. Find a bowl. It's not gonna let me collect any of this food until I find a bowl. So again, I'm not gonna play it. I'll let you guys finish through that. Okay, and let me double check. So the last question for lesson one is, what is something you're interested in learning how to do with the coding? or a question you may have that about what we'll be doing in this unit. So again, type in uh, something you're excited for or a question for me, and I will respond to you when I see that you have this turned in. Okay, so that is lesson one, um, and we will continue with lesson two here when you're ready for it. Again, you don't have to do these all in one day. Work at at the pace that works for you, that you're comfortable with. Um, again, I will be live on Zoom on Monday if you need any additional help. All right, thanks. Talk to you later.